going on guys? It's your boy Jake Daniels and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video we're going to be chatting about how to dress like Justin Bieber because personally I think that Justin Bieber is a huge influencer when it comes to men's style. He's got a captivating style and I know that loads of people in this community, including myself, think he's just an absolute G. We're going to be chatting about some brands that Justin wears and then in addition to that I'm going to show you some affordable options because some of the brands he wears is very, very expensive. Now, you're going to get the odd person who's going to comment on this video and go, oh, you like Justin Bieber, he's well gay. I can't believe you like him, you're so gay, you faggot. Now, if you're one of those brain dead idiots that fall into this category, he's probably had more girlfriends than you've had hot dinners. So first of all, we're going to be looking at some key pieces that Justin loves to wear with several different outfits. Now, we're going to concentrate firstly on a specific pair of jeans he just loves to rock, what brand they're from, and the key characteristics that the jeans currently possess. It clearly seems to me that one of his favorite brands is Fear of God, created by Jerry Lorenzo. Fashion rotates, guys. Trends come in, then they disappear for a while, and then several years later, they come back around. A few years ago, knee ripped jeans burst back onto the scene, and since then, every single man, woman, and their dog have been rocking knee ripped jeans. However, Fear of God, they got ahead of the game. As you can see, they've taken the knee ripped jeans one step further and created two further rips, one on both legs. Now with some knee ripped jeans, you don't really have the white threading hanging down, so it's a very plain rip. However, Fear of God have kept the white threading hanging down. It's a very messy look, but it's a look that works. Now we're gonna focus on the top ribs on the fires. The rips have been created, so the threading is still attached from side to side, unlike the knee rip section. Another style that I've seen Justin wear is band t-shirts slash band merchandise. Now, unlike the Fear of God jeans, this style is very, very affordable. Top Man, ASOS, H&M, these are great brands that have all released their versions of band t-shirts over the recent months. And I currently possess two band t-shirts. Now I've featured a few band t-shirts in my previous videos and I've had a few comments. People have said, why would you wear the t-shirt of a band if you're not a huge fan of them? Can't help but think, would you criticize people for wearing other items? For example, I don't like wearing condoms. Still, I have to wear them. So the Guns N' Roses t-shirt I bought first from the brand called ASOS, and it's very, very ripped. If you don't know right now, that ripped clothing is a huge trend. The second one is of the band Metallica that I got from H&M for $12.99. Disclaimer right now, I didn't copy Justin Bieber with the Metallica t-shirt. I bought it, and when doing research for this video, I was like, oh, he's got a Metallica t-shirt too. So yeah, it does seem to me that Justin is a huge fan of this trend. He's been pictured out and about wearing them, as well as wearing them at his concerts. Now, another brand that Justin likes, which I've seen him wearing a lot, is the brand Off-White. Now, I've never ever before featured Off-White on my channel, but today is the day that's all gonna change. Off-White was a brand at first I was like, mm, is it ready for me? But recently, I've had a change of mind. Off-White have a certain design that their t-shirts, hoodies, and jumpers have, which allows you to identify them as Off-White pieces. The stripes going down either the sides of the arms or the back. Their products can also be identified by having capital letters with the word white on the back, or the words mirror, mirror written somewhere on the t-shirt. Now, unfortunately, again, it's a very expensive brand. It can cost up to 200 pound for a t-shirt, and even up to 300 pound for a hoodie. Now, I just wanna make one thing clear. I'm not in any way saying that you have to go out and spend money on Off-White why you gotta go out and spend money on fear of God. I'm not saying that at all. Finally, the trend of camouflage clothing, which burst back onto the scene a few years ago. I've seen Justin wear this so many times. As you can see on your screen right now, Justin is rocking a camouflage jacket from the brand Off-White. The way to identify this is the stripes going down the arms. And another jacket he's wearing is from Saint Laurent. When it comes to the camouflage trend, I personally rock the all black everything. So I'll go for like an all black layer. So black knee rib jeans, black trainers, a black hoodie, and then rock that with a camouflage jacket. Now the Off-White and Saint Laurent jacket, it costs a lot. My alternative that I bought and used in a few of my videos was the Belfield jacket for £21 from ASOS. Currently it's sold out but click the links in the description box as I found more alternatives which cost between £29 and £45. So lads, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. Would you like a part two? Because I've got so much to talk about when it comes to Justin's style. Literally, I could have made this video like 10 minutes but I just didn't want to do that. You get called a YouTube money whore. If you've got any video requests, shout them out down below and I'll see you guys back here next week. I'm Jake Daniels.